Hi everyone, and welcome back to Fully Playable Games. So in today's video, I have, well, I've had a bit of a CEX free for all. So this isn't a CEX, uh, ch CEX challenge video. This is just literally me going into CEX and buying whatever I wanted. Uh, so there's no price limits, no nothing. This is literally just me going in and having a bit of a free for all in CEX with no limits. So let's roll the intro and then we'll get to see what I managed to pick up. So as I say, this is going to be a video where um, literally I'm able to just buy what I want. Um, there's a couple of games in here for consoles that normally we get a good sort of chunk of games uh, within the £5 budget. So I know that if I didn't get them, they weren't going to be sort of picked up. Um, some others are in there that I've just sort of happened to see them while I was in there and just took the opportunity to sort of buy them um, and yeah <laughs> that is basically it uh, so let's get cracking straight on with our first game is going to be a 3DS title and it is Pilot Wings on the 3DS so I have I've got Pilot Wings now on the SNES and I love playing Pilot Wings. <clears throat> it's a hard game, really enjoyed it, and yeah, when I saw that it was on the 3DS, I thought, yeah, I'll pick that up, be an interesting one to play. So it is box complete with the cartridge in its little sleeve. <laughs> um, £4 I paid for that, so I didn't think that was too bad. Um, as I say, I've not got too many uh, 3DS titles, so it was good to add a new one to the collection. Next up, we've got a PSP game, and it's not one that I, I it is actually a double, technically, uh, because I didn't realize that I had it on another console. Um, it is SSX on tour for the PSP, and I've actually got it on the PS2, I believe. I believe that was in a CEX challenge video from a couple of months ago, but because it's a CEX free-for-all, I can buy what I want. <laughs> and it's not against the rules. So it is box complete. Uh, we've got manual and then we've got the disc as well. Uh, that one was two pounds. Um, and yeah, uh, I think one of the big reasons why I wanted to get it uh, was because I am really desperate to sort of bolster my PSP collection. Uh, at the moment, we haven't really sort of got a lot there. I will be honest, and I will say that this video is being filmed before the last uh, CEX Challenge video, maybe the last two. I don't know when this video will actually be going out, but it is being filmed sort of quite a while ago. Uh, so hence why there's probably some games missing from the shelves. Next up, we've got a 360 game and it is split second velocity. Uh, now this is one that I've seen loads and loads of people talking about um, and basically saying it is one of the best racing games to be released on the 360. So I took the opportunity to pick it up. Unfortunately, it was only when I got home that I realized that the sleeve is a bit damaged because the case is actually broken. So I am gonna sort of move it into another case and hopefully at some point I'll be able to track down a new uh, cover sleeve for it. Other than that, it is box complete and the disc is in really good condition as it always is with CEX discs. So yeah, split second velocity, three pound for that one. Um, I don't know, I may look to, uh, to take that one back and see if I can swap it for a better copy. Uh, I'll just see, see what happens. Next up, we've got two Wii games, and the first one is SSX Blur. So this was £1.50, box complete, 
and yeah it was just another i saw it as another S, uh, ssx game um it looks it looks like your standard ssx game but yeah haven't played it haven't actually played an ssx on the wii so i'll be interested to see what that one was like next up we've got samurai warrior called uh, katana uh, for one pound on the wii um yeah main reason for this one was because it looked quite interesting it looked very sort of uh from the art style of it sort of very jrpg um so yeah i wanted to sort of give it a go obviously i am trying to sort of really get into sort of some of the other sort of gaming sort of genres basically so um i am trying to sort of get into the final fantasy games i'm trying to sort of play a lot of the the series that i haven't played in the past so that was i think that was what sort of spurred that one on next up we've got a wii u game and this was one that i have been eyeing up for a while um as i say at the time of recording this i still haven't managed to get my hands on a wii u console so it is just the game that i've got for now but it is super mario maker um i've not had a chance to play it yet um, I've seen countless videos on it, so I'm really excited to get the chance to play it at some point. But uh, yeah, I picked that up. That was £6, and I thought, yeah, I'll pick it up while it's there. Um, it is just disc only. I am not too sure whether this one comes with any manuals or anything like that. Um, at the moment, I'm still not too sort of well versed in sort of the Wii titles, uh, sorry, the Wii U titles, as to sort of whether they come with manuals or they don't. Uh, but yeah a nice one to have and one that i'm looking forward to playing uh, next up we've got two ps2 games first one is the original ssx so i paid one pound for this one once again it's an ssx game uh, i enjoy playing them it's box complete as well and yeah not really a lot else to say about that one uh, and then the next one so this is another ps2 game and this will be one for anyone watching in the UK. So growing up, we had, oh, well, personally, I had an absolute love for this series and another series by the same creator. And as soon as I saw it on the PS2, it's not a game that I'd ever seen before. So I had to pick it up. And it was Captain Scarlet on the PS2. So Captain Scarlet was a puppet based series in the UK. I'm not sure whether it went over to the US. I think it may have done, um, but I might be wrong. But it was a, a puppet based uh, series. Um, you've got, uh, there was four different series that I, no, there was five, but I can't remember what the last, the, the, the original one was. The ones that I know is Joe 90, Stingray, Captain Scarlet and Thunderbirds and yeah I absolutely love Captain Scarlet and Thunderbirds growing up I've watched all of the original episodes I've watched all of the the new episodes as well that were released and yeah when I saw this I was like I've got to grab it unfortunately it is disc only so uh, I am going to have to try and either track down a copy with a manual or track down a manual for it but yeah, when I saw it, I just had to sort of grab it. Um, and yeah, really looking forward to playing that one. It looks like a driving game, basically. Yeah, it seems like a driving game. Not, not what I was expecting from it, but a nice one to add to the collection. Then, next up, we have a PS3 game. And this is one of the... Um, game franchises that i've been wanting to sort of have a go at um, i originally played the second one sort of a couple of years ago and just really didn't get on with it for some reason so i've decided to sort of try and give them both an all another go and it's uncharted 3. Uh, drake's deception is the i think this is the last one that was released on the ps3 and then uncharted 4 was released on the, only on the ps4 i think I might be wrong on that one but yeah, I originally played, I think I played the first sort of hour of Uncharted 2 that I borrowed off a family member, and I just didn't get on with it for some reason. Um, I've played them brief, I've played Uncharted 2 briefly again recently, 
and yeah, I could see it as a game that I could get into. So um, obviously this is Uncharted 3. I want to get hold of Uncharted, uh, the first Uncharted, before I actually sort of get into them. I have got um, the Nathan Drake collection on my PS4, so I might actually play it through there um, or wait to get hold of it on the PS3. But yeah, Uncharted 3, uh, one pound I paid for that, and it is box complete as well. So yeah, chuffed with that one. Then the next one we've got is an Xbox original, original Xbox game, should I say. Um, and this was another one that comes highly recommended out of all of the game tube, uh, the YouTubers that do gaming. Um, and that is Grab by the Ghoulies on the original Xbox. Um, I paid six pound for this one, so it's fairly expensive compared to what I normally spend on games at CEX. But uh, yeah, it comes highly recommended. Um, a lot of people sings, sing its praise, so I thought I'd get it um, to give it a go. Um, it is box complete, but unfortunately the instruction manual is torn. Um, but it is, it does actually have the other man, uh, the sort of game brochure in it as well. So it is complete, complete. Um, so it's unfortunate that the actual menu itself is damaged. I, I am going to track another one down. Um, but yeah, so we've got grabbed by the ghoulies on the original Xbox. Then we've got, so what we've got, we've got two, four, six, seven more games to go through. And next one is a DS game and it is Worms Open Warfare. So I used to play the original Worms and Worms 2 on the PC with friends so, so much. Um, I love playing the Worms games. I think they are hilarious. And yeah, they're the sort of games that you can enjoy sort of either on your own or with a group of friends. So yeah, when I saw this was available on the DS, I sort of had to pick it up so that I could uh, sort of play it on the go. Um, box complete it's a, this is actually one of the super complete versions because it comes with two copies of the manual <laughs> so yeah if anyone is looking for a worms open warfare manual for the ds drop me a message and i will get it sent out to you then next up we have another ps3 game and this is a game that i've been wanting to add to the collection as well it has one of my all-time favorite games on and it is the Orange Box Collection. So this uh, is a free game collection from Valve. Um, it comes with Half-Life 2 Episode 2 for some reason. I thought it came with the original Half-Life 2. Uh, the most complete Half-Life 2 collection to date includes complete versions of Half-Life 2 and... Oh, so maybe it does. No, it looks like it comes with all three of the installments of Half-Life 2, which is good. Uh, it comes with Team Fortress 2, and then the ultimate game that Valve ever released, Portal. Absolutely love the Portal series. I constantly replay them. So both Portal 2 and uh, Portal 1 and Portal 2, uh, absolutely love them. So I've got Portal 1 on the PS3 now. I just need to pick up Portal 2. So hopefully I'll be able to pick that up at some point. The next game I'm going to leave until last because this is a game that I've been wanting to get for absolutely ages on the Xbox One um, and it's only on the Xbox One as well so uh, I'll leave that one till last. Uh, there we go. Uh, next one up is uh, Raymond Raving Rabbits uh, TV Party on the Wii. Uh, so it's a bit of a party game. Obviously I've not played any of the, the um, the Raving Rabbits games, um, but I thought, do you know what, I'll give it a go. Um, it's cheap, a pound, didn't really sort of bother me that one. Uh, and actually, here we go. So I know I said originally that I had SSX on tour um, for the PS2. Well, I have, but it was later down the pile. I thought this was one I actually got in a previous uh, pickup, but... Uh, yeah, uh, so SSX on tour on the PS2. Yeah, just completely forgot I'd bought it. I'd actually bought uh, these games all come from sort of three separate sort of 
uh, three separate CEXs on sort of different days and everything like that. So yeah, didn't realize that I'd sort of already picked this up. But yeah, SSX on tour, one pound on the PS2 and it is box complete as well. So can't complain at that. Then next up, this is another game that I found that didn't actually know that a game of it existed. And it is Falling Skies, the game. So this is... For those of you that don't know, the Falling Skies was a TV series that was released, and it was basically about, if I remember rightly, Falling Skies was an alien attack, and it was about the humans that were sort of resisting them and trying to sort of fight back. Um, it looks like it could be, it, it looks like a game that could go either way. So, I hope you can see it. So yeah, it could go either way. As I say, the main reason I picked it up was because it's not one that I've seen before. Um, and I thought, you know what, it's an interesting one just to add to the collection, even if I don't play it. Unfortunately, it is missing the manual, so I am going to have to track that one down. Um, but yeah, so we've got Falling Skies, the game. That was one pound. Then we've got two more left. And the first one is a PS2 game and it is Sonic the Mega Collection Plus. So I love my Sonic games. I've got them on sort of multiple platforms. And yeah, when I saw this there, I was like, yeah, I'm gonna pick this up on the PS2. So it actually includes the original Sonic the Hedgehog, Sonic the Hedgehog 2, 3, Sonic and Knuckles, Sonic 3D, Sonic Spinball, Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine, which I've never actually played. Um, plus the Game Gear versions of Sonic the Hedgehog, Sonic's Chaos, Sonic Drift, Sonic Labyrinth, Sonic, uh, sorry, Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine, and Sonic Blast. So an absolute stack of original Sonic games on this. So yeah, I'm quite looking forward to getting this chucked in the PS2 to play it. Obviously one of the big reasons I picked it up is it is six pounds. So it was not gonna be a game that we would ever sort of manage to collect in the uh, CEX £5 challenge um, because obviously PS2 games normally we can get sort of a fair few for the £5 so we never have sort of money roll over and then the last game for today as I say is an Xbox One exclusive and it is the Rare Replay so it's a £5 game I have only bought it for one game and I will be completely open and honest with that. There is only one game on here that I want to play, and I think you all already know what it is. It's my one game that I would love to own, and I'm trying my best to sort of be able to sort of afford a copy at some point this year, and it is Conker's Bad Fur Day. So I've never had a chance to play it um, until now. So I literally bought this just so that I can play Conker's, but there is, uh, if I believe there's over 30 games on this. And it's actually got things like Grabbed by the Ghoulies, Banjo-Kazooie, uh, Battletoads, uh, as I say, Conker's Bad Fur Day. Um, it's got both the Perfect Darks as well. So yeah, a really, really good title to pick up. Uh, there is only a disc in it. I don't know whether it comes with anything else in it, but as I say, the main reason that I bought it was to play Conker's Bad Fur Day. So that is going to be it for today's video. Um, yeah, a massive stack of games there. Some that I'm really sort of looking forward to adding into the collection and some that I'm actually really looking forward to playing as well. <laughs> So with that said, if you've stuck around to the end of the video, I just want to say a massive, massive thank you to you. Um, if you haven't already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and hit the like button as well. It really helps me sort of boost the channel up. And yeah, with that said, thank you so much for watching. Really hope you enjoyed the video and I look forward to seeing you on the next one. All right, bye.